Hey, hi guys, this is Bakka Chalikar. This is the part 9 for mobile automation testing. So in this tutorial, I will talk about how to cross check XPath in APM for mobile testing. So in the part 8, so I you can search in the YouTube as a APM by Bakka and then you will get a list of results. You can click on the APM series by Bakka and So this is the entire playlist for the APM series. So if you go down, that is a part eight. In the part eight, I have discussed how to find a package and a activity using the APM. So that is all about how to connect to the APM desktop, then how to open the UI, then how to find your X. Sorry, how to find your app package and app activity of the any of the Android native app. So that is a very initial step which you will be taking in uh, while automating any of the mobile application. So in this tutorial, I will talk about how to write your XPath, then how to cross check whether it is a written XPath is proper or not before debug debugging or running your scripts. So let us open uh, APM. So it takes few seconds to open the APM. So in the next tutorial, I'm talking about how to work on Chrome browser. So already APM uh, desktop got opened here. So simply I will start the server. So our APM rest listener started listening. So you can click on this particular icon that's a very first icon that is start inspector and session so once you clicked on that so you'll be seeing a separate screen so in this screen you can just click on the desired capabilities documentation so this is the one link so it opens like this so simply you can copy first three properties so that is the first one is a platform name so you can add another three parameters platform name that is the first parameter platform version next device name next browser browser name so that's it platform name you can specify it as a android then next platform version so you can check your uh, Android emulator or a real device, then you can specify the version here. The next device name I'm specifying as a test, you can still specify the device name, which you will get in the ADB devices command. So browser name I'm specifying it as a Chrome. So I'll click on the start session. So if you look at my device, so this is my emulator. So if I click on this, so first it will open you the Chrome browser because we have specified the desired capabilities as a Chrome. Then you can close this. So in our case, what I will do is I will simply open one of the app that is in my case. So API demos, I'm opening this app. So in the similar way, you can refresh this particular screen by clicking on this icon. So whatever the screen you are seeing in the emulator, same screen will be appeared in the in this UI also. Say for example, I wanted to click on this particular app element. So in the right side, you can see all the attributes and the values here in the respective values. So that is in the selected element view. So sometimes you can see the X path and also you can see the ID. If ID is exist for this element, even ID also will be showing in the this particular view. So currently it is showing you the absolute X path. So let us write a simple X path, then we will verify whether whatever the X path we have written it is proper or not. 
say for example in if you observe to the attribute and the respective values so here n number of attributes are available then respective values are there so what i will do is i will identify the unique attribute that is and the value so in in this case text is equal to app so this is the unique element what i found so by using the at the rate text attribute then i will specify the app as a value so simply i'll copy the app app value by using the text we can identify this particular app mobile mobile element so you need to click on this particular icon that is search for element so if you look at the locator strategy drop down there are multiple things are there like id xpath name class name by using these like name class name accessibility id xpath id all the values you can specify and you can check what are the value whether it is correct or not so in our case we are more interested in the xpath so i am selecting the xpath so here i am writing the simple xpath to forward slash then star in the square brackets i am specifying text as a so we have to start with the at the rate then followed by the attribute name that is a text we are having the attribute then is equal to in the single quotation you need to write the value whatever the value we are having for the this text text attribute so we are having app as a value then after that what you need to do is you need to click on the search button if you observe here elements so in inside this there is a number showing now it is matching with only one mobile element so if you select the this particular element it will be highlighted in the respective screen so now the app is got highlighted the similar way we will try for the another element so let us try to identify as the os so i wanted to click on this particular os element so if you observe the selected element so all the details that is attributes and the values so we are having text is equal to os so you can instead of app you can replace it as a os then you can check whether it is highlighting the this os mobile element or not so if i click on the search for element icon so instead of app i'll say os then i will click on the search button so if you look at the elements so there are only one element matching with the xpath if you select the element then it is highlighting the respective mobile element in the screen so in the similar way say for example my xpath is matching with the multiple elements how you will get to know that the number of count of elements will be n number so let us uh, take the one example for matching for the multiple mobile elements so if you look at the class value here so this class value is remains same for all the elements if you click on media then this class value is same so let us identify the mobile element using the class so simply i'll copy the this value so in in case of text i'll specify the class as the attribute i'll click on the search for element icon then here simply i'll paste the value then instead of text i'll replace it as a class so this is an example for matching with the multiple mobile elements so till now we have discussed we have identified two mobile element identify uniquely so there was no duplicate elements which is matching for the our x path so if you click on the search icon search button so if you look at here there are 13 mobile elements matching with our x path so if you click on one by one so it will highlight the respective element in the screen so if i select down one so it is highlighting the animation then if i select the 16th so it is highlighting the preferences so this is how you can write your x path and you can cross check your 
the same X path in the mobile emulator or in a real device. So that's all I have in this session. So if you if you are if you are having any questions, you can comment in the comment section. So if you like this tutorial, please click on like button nine, share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.